Well, NASA is preparing for an out of this world mission to the moon. The Artemis one rocket is now the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. It took 12 hours to get the <coughs> rocket from the assembly building to the launch pad. If everything goes as planned, NASA is aiming for liftoff of the test flight for the morning of August 29th. There will be no humans on board, just three mannequins. The capsule will orbit the moon, then splash land off the coast of San Diego 42 days later. If the test flight goes well, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years, then a moon landing in 2025 or 2026. So you might be curious, what does it take exactly to prepare for a mission on the moon? NBC News got a special look. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Costello. We are at the astronaut training pool in Houston, where for years they have trained for spacewalks at the space station. And now it's changing. They are getting ready for a moon mission. They've put rocks and sand into the pool to replicate the lunar environment, getting ready for moonwalks. Coming up on NBC Nightly News, we'll go inside the training, show you how they train for gravity that's just one sixth the gravity on Earth, and the challenges of communicating between the moon and Earth with a four second time delay. That story coming up on NBC Nightly News. Yeah, I guess it does make sense. Training inside the water like that in that pool, that's going to be fascinating. That story is ahead on NBC Nightly News. It starts right after our six o'clock newscast tonight on NBC 12.